Welcome to another edition or a special promotion for a series show that I'm going to do later today. It's come to my attention certain issues. Um, you know, how far gone is one person? How can you tell if it's a psychotic episode or should you really be concerned for our country? Are they trying to incite violence? Are they in trying to incite mob a mob? What are they trying to do with the words that they're saying on Spreaker? I need to have a serious discussion with the community at large, so I'm waiting to do my show till a little bit later today. I have some things I gotta get done and you know, I've never been in this type of situation before I've had a deranged psychotic woman cyber bully me that I'm still dealing with and it seems like he, this person is in cahoots with her we're going to be talking about a number of different issues psych psychological and legal what would you do to protect this country You know, it's not a false accusation when you say it on your Spreaker show of what you want done. And when you're talking about Muslims and Jews and bombings and oh, that's not good, bud. It's not good. So I think the Spreaker community at large needs to come together and make sure that Everyone in the community is safe from this person, from libel, from slander. And why don't we talk about what libel and slander really, truly is? You know, I say grow up. You list off a whole long list of labels, none of which are true. It's time to grow up. You know, and, and it's tragic when foster care has to come in and take care of your little ones your little ones that you're taking care of and I, I understand that that's a stressful job I get it you know I just I just hope it doesn't come to that Ho hopefully it won't you know um, I've had certain people come to me to, that want to be on my show and maybe from a dumpster show maybe a photographer a photographer who by the way has ripped off a number of families with their wedding pictures oh yes they were interviewed the families that were ripped off so word to the wise don't buy from Oggs I'm just saying so do you see what that simple statement can do it paints a very negative picture of someone that came to me in good faith and you know I haven't said anything bad about him he hasn't well okay he has said a lot bad about me which is slander you know it's libel when you're the actual media but we'll we'll talk about this a little bit more and you know those parties that I'm discussing if you'll come to my chat room maybe we can come to an agreement you know, um, sometimes you got to keep your mouth shut, boys. Or the government will do it for you. And you are not a covered person. I, I can't believe you were trying to quote that. You know, no one is doxing people for the sheer purpose of hacking into their accounts, for doxing a company to hack into their, their servers. No one's doing that here. Where I'm using public information, if you've said it out loud, then I can say it out loud. It is what it is. I can critique what you say. If you don't want certain things getting out there, then keep them private. Sometimes people want their personal life private, so they don't put it out there. Yeah, you know, there's some things that I put out there that I've regretted, and I understand doing that. Maybe you didn't know about Facebook and the private and public features. And, you know, once you make that information public, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to sue Southwestern Bell for posting your phone number because you were the idiot that did not make it unpublished? I mean, come on now. 
crazy. Anyway, well, I'm getting into realms that I don't want to get into right now, but I definitely will be talking later. I definitely will be talking later. You know, and it's called a hypnotic suggestion when you talk about an event that did happen or did not happen. You know, I plan to have someone on that will talk about those wedding pictures. That should be interesting. You know, and this person did call me in good faith because they were tired of being on a dumpster show. They were tired, point blank. And they were asking me if I wanted him to be on my show. He asked numerous times. He kept on bragging about my voice. You know, it's just, uh, I, I don't have a lot of trust there. Because you have to, after you leave the dumpster, you have to detoxify yourself and... I know, I like his taste of music. He seems like a cool guy. And, you know, I just kind of have this, I need you to clear, clean up the mess that you made. That's all there is to it. So, we'll find out. And I've definitely talked to people. So, I guess that's it. If you want to hear the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey would say, please come by Thursday night probably around the 7 or 8 o'clock hour probably around there maybe a little bit later it depends on my my home life you know I have kids so got to take care of those I mean for some reason they they want to eat for dinner and you know then I got to make sure they they take their baths and brush teeth and you know clean their room before they go to bed you know the the mom stuff that's what I do cuz I'm a mom with real children not children that are grown and can't do well in life. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you listening. I wish you well. And I will have some other podcasts for this show, Irreverent, our, um, Hourly Irreverent News. And I, I think it'll be helpful. I think it'll be good. When I talk about Fort Hood, the plane that's still missing and why are we devoting so much time to it on our news what is it that we're not seeing you know as an interview person an interviewer I like to ask somebody at the close of the interview is there a question that you wish I would have asked but I did not and a lot of times they'll I mean just in person their their posture straightens up you see their eyes pop a little bit I'm like oh yeah and then they go on to talk about whatever it was that I did not ask them about. And I'm pleasantly surprised. So this month, let's hope this month I get to get that mixer with all the chords and everything. I, I'm pretty excited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, I babbled on enough. You know, as always on this program, every voice has value, even if I disagree with it. And I will talk to you tonight. Do not miss it. This is a show not to miss. I cannot stress how strongly I feel about this.